Our git flow will make you puke, but we're doing this for a reason. For a long time, I was a religious zealot about using the so-called GitHub flow. And GitHub flow is quite beautiful, but I never thought about the implications of using this flow. This have been made for thousands of developers working on the same product. And our team is a very small team working on multiple different projects. My team's Git flow is probably not for you, but it will give you some inspiration to figure out what is the best Git flow for you. And remark that I say Git flow and it's different from the GitHub flow, which is a standard on how to use Git. Why do we do Git? We use Git to make the world a better place. I don't know about you people, but I don't want to live in a world where someone else makes the world a better place, better than we do. Just kidding. If you're Microsoft or Google, you probably do it to make it a more evil place. We use Git to effectively collaborate on code bases. That is at least the main goal of most team. Or of course, maybe do a Git blame once in a while. In our team, we try to keep things extremely simple and just focus on, on getting stuff done. We have a master branch and an environment one branch. The environment one branch is where we push most of the code. And this is also the thing that we deploy to our staging or test environment. And then once a week, we merge this into the master and deploy maybe every second week, depending on the sprint. Sometimes we do have hot fixes and we make a separate branch and kind of follow the GitHub flow where we make a separate branch for that feature or that hot fix, and then we merge that in if it's something important into directly to the master branch. But this is something we in general try to avoid. Before I show the pros and cons of this flow. Look at this. This is the majestic subscribe button in its wild nature. You can see that it's glowing red. That means you're allowed to approach it. The subscribe button have accepted you. The benefits of this flow are if the tech lead is too busy to merge in, we avoid having too many merge conflicts. Number two, we avoid having merge conflicts when people in general just are working together. And number three, the teammate can see what changes have been done when they just do a git poll instead of having to switch branches. Obviously, this flow is not for everyone and every team. But if you're small and you're just focusing on getting stuff done, it's probably a lot better than using the GitHub flow. Some obvious negatives of this flow are, if you don't want to release a feature that's already been started on, you have to code it away, and this will take a little bit more time. But in general, we try to plan our sprints pretty well, so this is not a problem for us. And if it is a problem, what we do is we have a simple flag or we can just hide it. It's not really a problem. We try to make everything backward compatible. Number two, the code reviewer is usually not getting a message about this, I'm the code reviewer, and so sometimes I don't really see what had happened before the end of the sprint. So I might have some updates for it and some changes to it. Tell me below what you're doing for your GitFlow. I would love to hear, because you know you know only hear about the big companies, what they do, not what maybe smaller or medium-sized companies are doing. By the way, I'm offering consultancy calls where I will help you optimize your business or develop beautiful and elegant software. There's a link below if you find this interesting. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.